Greetings from the great state of Idaho, God's country as I like to call it. But uh, Welcome to the video. I wanted to do a review of this neat little uh, toolkit I bought on Amazon the other day. Well, actually it's not a toolkit, it's a tool holster. I was looking for something to put my Leatherman in, uh, something that I could carry extra gear, uh, maybe a lighter and uh, you know, a flashlight pen. So I found this little um, tool holster on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I mean, it was like $15.99 or something like that. Um, it, it doesn't say where it's made, so you know it's probably made in China, but uh, I've been carrying it around for a couple months, uh, and it holds up pretty well. Uh, it was a direct ship from Amazon. I've always been a bit of a gear junkie. Uh, you know, I think I've watched every single James Bond movie out there, and what's cooler than having a camera in your tie, or a gun that pops out your sleeve, or a watch that uh, can, can be a compass. And I've been watching a lot of great EDC videos on YouTube, and I, I realize this is not up to that quality. Uh, but I wanted to give a, a shout out to this uh, little tool uh, holster that I bought and uh, show you uh, because I was quite amazed. Um, it fit a lot more than just my Leatherman and I wanted to show that off and, and maybe if somebody else is looking for something similar, um, they might be able to check this out. Now it's, it's quite heavy. Um, you can wear it on, uh, on a holster uh, or on your belt. Um, it does have this nice strap so you don't have to take your belt off. You can just slip it down and snap it. Um, the other nice thing is it does have these two rings so you could hang it from a pack. You could uh, strap it to uh, something. Um, I have worn it. Uh, I've worn it when I've been out fishing, um, out hiking in the woods, walking around. Um, when I weighed it, it seemed like it weighed around a pound and a half, which is pretty heavy for an EDC. And if you're not familiar with EDC, I mean, that just means everyday carry. Um, I say that because when I first heard EDC, I didn't know exactly what, what that meant. I thought it was some kind of technical jargon for a specific type of knife uh, or something like that. Uh, and EDC just means everyday carry. Now, growing up as a Boy Scout, you know, I always had a pocket knife in my pocket, a lighter, stuff for making little fires, doing stuff I wasn't supposed to. Um, but the Scout model was like, be prepared. And so that's really what I think EDC is today. Uh, you know, it's the modern day scouting thing. Uh, you know, everyday carry, be prepared. Uh, so it's the items you carry every day uh, that you may need in certain situations. So you, you might have a watch, you might have your phone. People underestimate what a great ADC tool that is. But uh, James Bond back in the 60s or 70s would have loved to have a, a phone like ours. It's got a camera, compass, communication device, um, all built into one. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty impressive tool. Um, pocket knife, uh, you never know when you've got to open packages, boxes. Uh, maybe even have to save a life, you know, cut a seatbelt, get out of a car. Um, so those are some of the EDC things, um, obviously a lighter, fire starting. Um, you know, so those are some EDC items that you would maybe carry every day. And uh, so I wanted something that I could carry around. And honestly, this is a little heavy for me, but I've been uh, carrying it around my truck for a couple months. It's held up really well. Um, you know, it's a durable nylon. Uh, you know, I wonder about the stitching a little bit, um, but it, so far it's held up okay. And uh, it's the Deep Ring uh, Tool Holster if you're looking for it on Amazon. So let's just get into it. I'll show you what I've got in here, um, and uh, I think you'll be impressed by how much it holds. So you've got a pocket on each side, uh, a side pocket. You've got a couple of Molly straps on the front, um, and you've got the, the attachments on the back, like I said. Um, you, if, if you are going to wear it on a belt, you're going to want a pretty heavy, heavy duty belt. I have been wearing the everyday belt from Hanks. Um, it's full grain, thick leather, um, hundred year warranty. Uh, this belt will last a lifetime. So if you're in the market for a heavy duty belt, I would suggest checking those out. Um, but there is, uh, you know, you can wear it as a holster. Um, so in, uh, in this first side pocket here, I've got uh, an Olight uh, E5OT, uh, or sorry, I5T EOS. Uh, this is just the one that takes a, a double A. It's about 30 bucks, I think. Uh, this one's kind of cool because it's got these silver and blue specks on it. It's really bright. It has two brightness settings, so it's got a dim and a bright. Um, and it's super bright. Uh, my kids have to go out at night and put the chickens up in their coop and they like to have a light with them because they're kids and they get scared in the dark anyways and it's been getting dark later. 
Um, so, or earlier, I mean, so they take that out and honestly, uh, they, they're impressed by how bright it is. It seems to be brighter than my Makita 18 volt, you know, hand spotlight, uh, that I paid quite a bit more for. So anyways, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, also in that pocket, I've got, uh, a space bend, Fisher space bend, uh, the bullet, um, handy, right on anything, right anywhere. You, you guys know these were designed for space. So, um, you ride upside down, right in the cold, um, not, nothing stops them. And you never know when you got to have a pen, leave a note for somebody, sign a document, um, whatever. Uh, so in the other side, um, I do have, uh, uh, let's see if I can get it out of here. I've got a, a clipper lighter. Um, they're, they're like the Bic, not very expensive, uh, but I do like these better because they are refillable. Um, you've got the port on the bottom to refill them. Um, cool designs. They got, they got a nice flame, easy to use. And, uh, another cool feature is even if you ran out of fuel in this, you've still got a flint and steel striker that you can make some good spark with. Um, it comes out of the lighter and, uh, it's portable like that. Uh, might be great, uh, in case of an emergency. And then I've got some chapstick. You never know when you're out in the in the woods. And I, I like the shape of the clipper and the chapstick. They're both round. They fit in that side pocket together really nice. Um, you never know when you're out in the woods. You know the sun, the wind really chap your lips, and, and you, you got to have you got to have nice soft lips. Um, on the front, on the molly straps, I've I've stuck a knife in there. You can put whatever you want it. Uh, for a while, I was carrying um, a razor blade, uh, the Gerber EAB Light. A pretty inexpensive razor blade but compact and lightweight um, but recently I bought this knife from the knife center it was on sale it's a Kershaw pistol um, nice aluminum frame uh, deep carry pocket clip it's about a three inch blade uh, maybe a little longer um, but they had it on sale for $19.99 and you can't beat that it's got the 8 CR 13 MOB steel and um, very it came came pretty sharp you know, really feels good in the hand, kind of a nice looking knife. And for $19.99, I mean, you, you really can't go wrong. It doesn't have ball bearings, but it does have a, you know, nylon washer. So it does open pretty, pretty smoothly, but not, not like a flip action. So I've been carrying that on the, on the front, on the molly strap, just when I need a quick knife to get to. Um, inside, you've got this nice big pouch. Um, and you've also got, you can see the, the orange there. Um, that's a separate little um, divider pocket that slides stuff down in. I slid a little pry bar. Um, again, this is nothing fancy. I know some of you guys have those $100 titanium pry bars, but this does what I need. You know, I've opened a few bottles with it. It does have a, a Phillips and a flathead, a bottle opener, can opener. Um, so, you know, a couple different sizes of wrenches. Uh, just, just handy. Uh, to have a little pry bar. You never know when you got to open a paint can or a bottle, like I said. So um, I think these were seven or eight bucks. Um, also, I, I like I said, I bought this mainly for my to hold my Leatherman, but this pocket was so big, I was impressed uh, that I was actually able to fit uh, an extra mag uh, for my Glock 43. Um, you know, it's a small mag. It's only a six-round mag, and I've got these, uh, you know, tactical uh, rounds in it. They've got that twist top on there. Um, kind of cool looking. Uh, I have shot some uh, gallon milk jugs with those and uh, you know they just shred them to bits. They're kind of kind of fun to shoot. Um, but it's always nice to have an extra mag especially when your primary mag only holds six rounds. Um, so you know the Glock 43 is not a big gun. Um, and it, uh, you know, I carry that around quite a bit on my holster, uh, on my belt, and carrying that and this, you know, my uh, that Hanks Everyday belt didn't fall down at all. I mean, I kept my pants up. So, um, recommend the belt and uh, recommend this holster. And then I've got a Leatherman uh, free in there. Um, you know, the nice thing about these free is they're kind of one hand opening because they've got that magnetic catch. I didn't opt for the bigger model. They've got one that comes with a couple of saws. Um, and honestly, when are you going to use those pocket saws? Uh, usually in my truck, I have a small hatchet or, or a, a saw of some type. And so I, I honestly, I'm not going to be getting this out to use it for sawing. But some people like having those extra saws. Um, me, I just wanted the, the pliers. I wanted the, the screwdrivers, uh, the scissors, and um, 
you know, just just a bl extra blade. Um, so good quality. Leatherman makes great stuff. And then on the back, you can actually um, slide uh, something in between here. Um, and so I uh, have stuck in there a comb. This is a nice uh, tortoise shell Kent's comb, real classy look. Um, has the little leather pull tab on the top and uh, just handy when you're out and need some beard maintenance. You know, when you want to be looking fine, uh, you've got an extra little comb there uh, to, to clean up your look. Um, it did come with a nice leather holster uh, for carrying, but it was a little too wide to fit in here, but the comb slides in there nicely. So that's the deep ring tool holster. You can get on Amazon for like $15.99. It does ship direct from Amazon, so it's not come from China. So I don't, you don't have to wait forever to get it. Um, and uh, it holds quite a bit of stuff. I was looking at the other reviews on there. Um, like I said, I don't EDC carry it. I keep it in my, in my truck, but other people were wearing it for work, keeping their pens, their markers, a flashlight, maybe some little tools in it that they use on their job every day. I work in an office setting, and so I, I don't have a, a need for some of those tools, but uh, I do like to have them handy uh, because I'm, I'm out doing stuff a lot or working around the home. And so it's nice to have those extra tools and have a, a one tool pouch that you can just grab out of the truck and, and have a, a variety of tools in. Or if you're out camping, we spend a lot of time in the woods, hunting, fishing, camping, that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it for my review for the Deep Ring Tool Holster. Uh, but I do want to say, um, uh, I do want to leave you guys with a little uh, bit of humor uh, in my family. Uh, that's a tradition. Uh, we, my grandpa, my dad, my uncles, so it's been passed around. We sit around, we tell jokes, we have a good time. And here's, here's a joke that I heard the other day. It's an oldie, but some of you may have heard it, but it, it'll, it'll get you a chuckle. So there's this elderly spinster lady finds a magic lamp, gets three wishes. First wish, she wishes for uh, to be young and beautiful and poof, she's just gorgeous. And second wish, she wishes for a million dollars. Poof, now she's rich and beautiful. Third wish, she wishes for her trusty companion, her faithful cat, Mr. Fluffy, to be a handsome man and her husband. And poof, there's this handsome man standing before her. And she says, are, are you Mr. Fluffy? And he says, yes, I am, and I just adore you. Now don't you regret having me neutered. So that's a pretty funny joke. But anyways, till next time, I, I'm going to do this again. I realize it's not very good quality. I'll work on that. Um, but uh, I wanted to give a, a shout out to this tool pouch and let other people know if they were looking out for something like that. So peace out. And like I tell my kids uh, when I drop them off for school, stay fresh, cheese bag.